Hello there, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard and really happy to show you today four unused vintage concert tickets from Janis Joplin. Oh my goodness, wow. When she was fronting Big Brother and the Holding Company in 1966 and 67. Obviously an unused ticket is much scarcer than a ticket stub. Those are fun to collect in their own right and I have lots of those. But boy, unused tickets, you know, when you, had, when you have established acts and legends, just not that many tickets usually went unused. And so they're found in just here and there, scattered oddball places and so forth. But they're really nice because they weren't torn in half, so you can read all the information on there. And, you know, they're just really collectible, and I have four here to show you today. Now, the first one doesn't have any artist names on it because there were a lot of artists, first of all. I'll get to that in a second. And it was a benefit ticket held at the Fillmore in 1966. Quoting here from the top of this ticket, South of Market and North Beach Children's Adventure Day Camp. Third annual benefit, Sunday, August 7, 1966. Now check this out, 3 p.m. to 1 a.m. Boy, is that a long benefit indeed. Fillmore Auditorium, Gary and Fillmore, $2.50. And as you can see, it's red printing here on just white, white cardstock paper, typical for 1966 bury a ticket. And there's no band names, as I said, but um, you had Quicksilver Messenger Service, Big Brother and the Holding Company with Janice, and then the Grateful Dead, who canceled the show because their car broke down, I think, on the way back from Canada the day before. Then you also had uh, the Grassroots, and you had a band called Sunshine. And, uh, of course, if you're a f um, collector of memorabilia from the Bay Area, you will recognize the poster. There's a picture of it from what uh, from which this ticket was drawn. So it's a very familiar image for, there for sure. Okay, the second ticket to show you this morning, morning for me, <laughs> we have here a nice one with, um, you know, yellow or goldenrod paper. Really gives it some nice attractability there. The Family Dog presents Dance Concert, Howl and Wolf with Big Brother and the Holding Company. Can you imagine Howlin' and Janice in the same night? Wow. September 23rd and 24th, but no days of the week given, 9 p.m. Avalon Ballroom, Sutter at Van Ness in San Francisco. And it does say also on it, admit one, which is interesting, it doesn't say which date, so that means you can go to either show, the 23rd or the 24th, the ticket was good for either one, and then $2.50. Now, sadly, this gig was canceled, um, so the, the Bay Area didn't get a chance to see Janice and, and uh, Chester, <laughs> his real name, trading out vocals and things like that. But still, just the concept of, you know, boy, um, Janice and Howell on the same stage, I'll tell you. And the poster is another very familiar image from Bay Area archives. Surely you've seen it, and here it is, known as FD27. But, of course, uh, today we're covering the tickets, and so here you have this nice goldenrod ticket. Okay, the third ticket I'm going to show you is extremely similar in layout, so I won't read the whole thing to you, um, except it is uh, red ink on white paper, as you can see. And it also adds the days of the week for the first time. Um, so, otherwise, however, it's Quicksilver Messenger Service, Big Brother and the Holding Company, with Janice, and Country Joe and the Fish. Now, this uh, post-Thanksgiving weekend is Friday and Saturday, November 25 and 26 of 1966. And the corresponding poster image, which you're familiar with, I actually have a handbill here, and that's the poster that, uh, you know, matches or goes along with this ticket. And then for the fourth ticket, it's got some uh, real graphics on it and so forth. It's kind of cool that way. We move into 1967, and the family dog people either got lazy or they got clever and creative. I guess I'd like to think the latter and think positive. Um, they simply just got, you know, they just started reproducing the poster that was all done already onto the ticket and let that serve as the purveyor of all the information and everything. Um, so the big word, the key word here is contact. And you've got Big Brother and the Holding Company, Charles Lloyd, and the Sir Douglas Quintet, who were enjoying their top 40 hit, The Rains Came, right about now. And the date is March 17 and 18 of 1967. I'll get it a little bit closer for you there. And the corresponding, it's, it's funny, it's not as important to show you the corresponding poster image on this, but here it is, known, of course, as FD52. So, um, boy, I'll tell you, there you have it, four unused, four people who didn't get to see, in addition to me, the legendary Janis Joplin concert, but she was, uh, you know, her presence is on all four tickets, and they're just great fun to collect, so... 
So, hope you enjoyed the, uh, seeing the text today. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.